Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is a rental website on Wix tutorial creating a rental website step by step. So here we are on our dashboard from this page we can easily manage all the stuff related with our websites on our Wix. We can find all the existing one and in order to create a new site we just simply need to click on create new site button in the right side. So we'll come to this page where we need to choose what kind of website are you creating so basically we can input like something like this a rent rental shop rental library a real estate rental energy agency apartment rental and so on so we can try to find something suitable as for us so let it be for example apartment rental of course you may choose some other categories basically it doesn't matter because in the future we can easily switch this category to the another one and what would you like to call your website let it be like v1 website one you can name it as you need in my case i'm going to use this shortcut so let's click on next and the next thing we need to choose what do you want to add to your website i'm going to click on skip in the right bottom corner because i don't really want to add some stuff or we can easily add it a little bit later and yeah everything is done our website um, structure was successfully created so now we can start setting up your website we can go to dashboard but i honestly prefer to click on begin with a template so it will be easier as for us to find a suitable template to interact with the templates to edit to customize so here we are uh, if we'll come to this page we can find a lot of different templates we can easily use and in order to find the category we need is just to we need to click on business and services and from this page we need to find something related to our category as for me a real estate is the most related category of course we can try to find some other stuff and what is really interesting is that uh, simply we can customize any template we can find on this page because we'll still find uh, we'll still have to change the photos text and all the in the site stuff so if you like the structure you can easily try to uh, you can easily try to customize all the things but as for me it's of course easier to interact with an existing template about real estate so at least we'll have some ideas we can use so uh, let it be for example the uh, maybe this template here so let's try to view all the uh, design so let's try to use let's try to use let's try to use uh, this one here real estate consult so we can click on view to find how will it look like and as you can see we can find a lot of uh, information about buildings about their price so we can easily convert it to rental website it will be easy as for us and we have two options we can switch between a mobile phone and desktop it means that this website is totally responsive which is pretty cool so it's available for every single device we can use so let's click on edit this site and we'll come to this page here. It may take a little time, depends on a week's server's capacity and in a few seconds our website will be successfully created. And basically now we need to wait. And the first thing I want to suggest you to do is just to go to uh, the left side menu, click on site design right up here and then we can click on customize. And change the color palette as for me it's definitely the best feature on wix so we can easily customize this template a lot we can change all the colors and we can change the font so we don't have to change every single element here and as for me this is definitely the biggest advantage so let's have a quick tour now we are on our editor from this page we can interact with our website now our website looks like this so what can we do we can add different elements manage sections manage pages and menu change the site design add apps and manage the businesses so in order uh, in order to interact with all the features we need to know that every single website on wix contains from different sections this section here this header here this section with our like objects and some other stuff in order to interact with sections we can move them down we can move them up we can edit them we can explore section layouts and we can click on more to find some more details we can do we can cut copy duplicate section 
uh, change the background and so on. In order to add a section, we just simply can go to add section area where we can find a lot of templates. Welcome about team, contact, promotion, services, subscribe, uh, testimonials, uh, clients, store, bookings, events, basic text and so on. The same way we can easily delete section and do some other stuff. And every single section contains from a different object, so different elements. So we have text here, this text here, this like background, these two columns, which helps us to organize all this stuff, uh, this text, this image, this description, and so on. And in order to interact with the elements, we just simply need to click on them, where we can find all the things we can do. We can click on edit, we can create AI text, we can animate, we can make it as a link, we can find some help and connect to data. And in order to add the elements, we just simply need to click on plus, and in the left side menu, we can find all the elements we can add. We can add text, image, button, strip, creative, box, gallery, menu and anchor, contact and forms, video and music, interactive list, embedded code, social, payments, input, content manager and so on. So every single element here has its own properties. For example, if you're going to add a button, for example, this one here. And if we'll click, we can find that we have the option to change text and icon. We can change the layout, change the design, add animation, add the link. If we'll click on change text and icon, now we can choose what it displays, text only or like icon only or text and icon or nothing. We can add the text, which is a button. Now we can change it, for example, for rent. Now, for example, we can choose where will it link and so on. So this is a way of how can we interact with our editor. So now you need to design your own website. And when everything is done, we can just simply click on publish in the right top corner, then just click on save and continue. And in a few seconds, our website will be automatically published to the web. So now we can just click on done. And uh, now we can even view our website. So if we'll click on view, we can find how does it look like. Of course, we have to uh, add the design by our own and so on. But still, it's pretty cool that we have the opportunity to, uh, to basically publish it. Uh, the next thing is that we can go to our dashboard in the left top corner and from this page here we can easily interact with other stuff. We can find the stuff, we can manage marketing and SEO features, find the analytics and reports, manage billings and payments, uh, manage the contacts, uh, do some other stuff. So it's definitely worth it to understand how does it work. You can find the other tutorials on my channel. But basically for this video, that's it. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. And of course, um, I wish you a very, very good day. Goodbye, guys.